Hello and welcome to Dreamfall Chapters. Um, I've played the two previous games and if you haven't, I suggest you check it out before you watch this game because there's going to be some major spoilers pretty soon. I s I'm pretty sure there's going to be spoilers, obviously. <laughs> anyway, let's begin. Oh, yeah. Okay. There are two worlds. Our world, the world of science, and Arcadia, the world of magic. Dreams connect these parallel worlds, but a dark force threatens the very fabric of dreams. Zoe Castillo holds the power to shape dreams and save us from the undreaming, but she is trapped in a place called the story time. Kian Alvane is destined to play an important role in the war to come, but he faces execution for treason against his own people. They are both about to be reborn. A new story is about to begin. Their paths will intersect, and at the end of their journey, they will face the Thief of Dreams. Yay! It was a pretty long time ago I played the games, so I don't remember all of it. But, oh my gosh, my... Okay, my, uh, my computer sucks. I need to upgrade. I need a better CPU. What? <laughs> Is that April? I'm so- I was not expecting her to die. I, I was so confused. Is she really dead? No. It's so sad. I love the first game. Who's he? Who are they? 
I guess this is since third. Interesting. <laughs> Chapter One Adrift. They say that every story has a beginning and an end. That isn't always the case. Some stories simply stop. My name is Zoe Castillo. I'm dying. I've been in a coma for over a year. The doctors don't believe I'll ever wake up again. My mother did this to me. She put me here so that I wouldn't be able to tell my story, so that she could keep her secret. It worked. The world is addicted to dreams, to dream time. It's just entertainment. They have no idea what the dream machine is really for and what it's doing to the world. They don't know that someone is stealing their dreams, using them to reshape reality. So, if I'm in a coma, how am I talking to you? The thing is, my body may be here in a hospital, but my mind. Oh, the my monkey! My mind is elsewhere. This is the story time. It's the place between, hmm. and it's my home now. This place where all stories begin and end, including mine. Oh. Okay, I just love this uh, longest journey series or dreamfall that it's called right now. I heard this was supposed to be the last one, which makes me sad. <laughs> Visuals are so amazing. I love, I love this shot. Okay, I have no idea how this game works now. Inner thoughts. Those lights are people. Spirits. Souls. Whatever you want to call them. Okay. Story time. I don't know how long I've been here. Six months? Nine? Wow, I love this. It looks gorgeous. Wow. Amazing. Okay, run. Whoa. I don't know if the chart is accurate or just a dream construct, but it doesn't look good. That line should be pointing up, not down. Um, I'm sad to hear that. Yay, Wonkers! That's his name. Wonkers. My old Wattilla. So cute. That was taken when Reza and I were still dating. Hmm. Feels like a different lifetime. And, well, it sort of was. Dad, I'm not sure how oh. I feel about my father right now. Dad, Gabriel, stops by every day. He keeps apologizing. I wish he wouldn't. That machine is all that stands between me and six feet under. It feeds my comatose body a fun cocktail of life-saving narcotics. The latest and greatest in chemical life support. Without magical miracle machine, I'd be stiff and cold and probably all maggoty. Hmm. Happy thoughts. Right. Take a skateboard to that line, you'd build up a lot of speed. I don't know why they brought him to the hospital, but I'm glad they did. He's so Reza cute. visits a lot. He talks to me for hours. It's good. 
It's good. Like we're reconnecting. I'm just gonna. Story time feels more real to me now than the waking world does. Oh. I hear her calling out for help. She's trapped in a looping night terror. So I'm just gonna look at my self first. Sleeping beauty. Coma as a fashion statement? No, oh, that's awful. But I honestly do look better on my deathbed. I don't know if that's how I actually look out there or if it's just mm. wishful thinking. Everything in here is made of dreams. Okay, let's do this. What? What? Okay, it's saving. No. F full track. Okay. Ah, oh. God. What the heck? What? <laughs> I'm so confused. What? what am oh God, no! What? What am I? S Hold to track. But I, I did hold, oh gosh, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Help me! But I'm trying, what? Oh, it, why didn't it work? Jeez. Okay, wait. Help me! <laughs> Jeez, I was close. I can't grab her. She's falling too quickly. I see. What do I do then? What am I supposed to do? Help me! Oh, light, mind, time. I have time. But hold oh, on. There we go. <laughs> oh God, don't let go. I just drop. I mean. Thanks for. Wait. For never mind. Me. Feels like I've been falling forever. You kind of did. What is this place? A bad dream. I'm here to help you wake up. Okay. Okay, it's just a dream. It's just a dream. I could have sworn it was... This feels so real. That's cool. In a few moments, it won't. You'll forget all about it. But I want you to remember one thing. Stop using that thing. The dream machine. Stop using it or you'll be back and maybe I won't find you next time and maybe you'll be stuck in a nightmare forever. Oh God, no, no, I promise I'll remember. Do something else with your spare time. G go shopping, have lots of sex, take more naps, anything but this. Ooh. Time to wake up. Thank you, again. Who are you? Doesn't matter. You won't remember anyway. Just go and never come back. So what now? Where am I supposed to go? Dude, where am I supposed to go? I can oh, oh. That dream is just total blackness. The absence of light. Okay, let's go. Oh, that's sad as someone. Hmm. I like the concept of the dreaming nightmares thing. <laughs> it's dark. It's too dark. I can't. I, I can't. No. Don't. Don't come any closer. He's absolutely terrified you? of the dark. Why are you here? I'm here to help you. Leave me alone. I'm gonna guide you to the, to the lights. The darkness. It's everywhere. It's getting closer. Oh man, I can't see anything. I can't leave. It's not safe out there. Come with me. I'll help you escape. What? Who? Who, who are you? You're dreaming. I'll help you get back. Follow me. Come, man. Can I... It's dark. It's too dark. I can't... I can't move. I can't go anywhere. It's too dark. Just way too dark. 
Mind or light? Mind, maybe? He's so... As long as he believes in it, the power of the uh. mind. Hey, my superpower. Misconception to the rescue. Can you please help Wait. me find my way? But it was light. Huh? I hate the dark. I can't stand it. The power of the mind. Hey, something or someone is blocking me. I can't read him properly. Hmm. But the darkness is eating him up. If I don't get him out of here soon, he'll be lost. The power of the mind. Hey, my superpower. Misconception to the rescue. Something or someone what is am I supposed power to of do? the mind. Hey, my superpower. Oh. Misconception to the rescue. Maybe. Wait, nothing is working right now. I don't know why that's not working. Cause I I can't look at the lamp. Can you please help me find my way? Am I supposed to do something else? Oh, maybe I'm supposed to start the lamp. Wow, I'm so smart. Dreaming? No, that can't. That can't be. This this is too real. Too real. I don't know why I didn't think of that. That's because you're connected to a dream machine. If you remember nothing else when you wake up, remember this. The dream machines are dangerous. Don't use them, or you'll get stuck here, and maybe I won't find you again. Don't say that. Don't say that. I'll remember. I swear. Oh, oh so... I don't ever want to come back. I won't touch a dream machine again. Good. You shouldn't. The darkness. It's getting closer. Something or someone is blocking me. I can't read him properly. I still can't but read him. The darkness is eating him up. Lies. If I don't get him out of here soon, he'll be lost. Come on. That bulb won't last long. Hurry. God damn it. The dark is everywhere. Man. I have to go back. No. Back to the light. Shit. How? Oh. There we go. I think that will do it. Right? Stay close to me and you'll be fine. Great. <laughs> I hate the dark. Why can't I do anything? I can't stand it. You have a light within you. It's strong. But I don't... I don't know how to turn it on. Yes, Just you stay do. Just close, and I'll keep it burning. Just promise me you'll stay far away from dream machines. You bet. I'm never connecting to dream time again. Not after this. Good. Probably, I'm probably gonna have to use mind or something. I don't know. Ooh, we're here. Hurry. Come on, you can do this. Do I need to do something to his mind as well? Maybe not. Oh. I'm drowning in it. The darkness is swallowing me up. <sighs> you can it's do it. Him. The source of the darkness. He's feeding it. His fear is totally out of control. He's fighting me and he doesn't even know it. He needs to stop or I can't help him. Can I do it now? It's him. Oh, okay. The source of the darkness. <sighs> He's feeding it. He's fighting me and he does Yes, yes, I understand. <laughs> light? The dark. The dark is everywhere. There's a light inside him, but it keeps turning off. Something's fighting back. I need to talk to him, I guess. It's happening again. It's happening. The darkness. It's closing in. I can relate. You're letting your fears control you. I hate the dark. I can't stand it. I know, and you're feeding it. You need to let it go. Your fears and worries. You have the power to banish this darkness, remember? The light within you? That's right. The dark makes me forget. So mm. just let it go. Brighten up. Shine for me, you crazy diamond. <laughs> but I don't... I don't know how to turn it on. 
You're not alone. I'm here to help you. <sighs> Thank you. Yeah. Now I can turn it on, right? Light or mine? Light? Yes, light. I wasn't sure. <laughs> It's very different to the previous games. The gameplay is different. See? All this time you carried the light within. Yeah. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. Come on, let's go. Thank you. This is cool. <laughs> Even if it's different, I like it. Oh, what what does it mean? Okay, talk. Can you please help me find my way? What? You can't go by yourself? What? Wait, what? Select the destination. Oh, okay. Over there. Walk into the light. <laughs> Walk into the... Don't worry. Not that kind of light. You'll just wake up. See you. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome, buddy. What is going on out there? It's getting worse. Hmm. Oh, am I supposed to walk into the light as well? Oh, it's not. Okay. What? What's that? Look at the view. I love it. <laughs> I'm just in love with the game right What now. is that? A bedroom. Bedroom. I know what that means. What does that mean? I'm bedroom. Stared of, scared of. I don't know. Oh, the claw. Okay, monsters. What are you doing? Get away from that! Oh, little child. Hey, friend. Hey. Shh. Don't make a sound. It will hear you. Who will? The monster in the closet. It will hear you and eat us both. She's scared enough already, poor girl. I need to be careful. She needs reassurance, not more things to be scared of. I just want to listen to her. She's already scared, but she needs to understand how dangerous the dream machine is. Aww. She needs to be scared of what will happen if she keeps using it. No, I can't do She's it. Scared. I promise it won't hurt you. You swear? I, I can't. Swear. I won't let it. But you need to get back home. It's probably a bad decision. I can't decision. find my way. The way back is through there. Through the wardrobe. I can't go in there. It will eat me alive. Not if we destroy it first. Do you have the key? I don't know where it is. My mum locks it every night. And tells me to behave. Or she'll unlock it and let the monster have me. Great parenting. <laughs> don't worry. I'll find the key. And whatever's in there, it's no match for me, I promise. Are you like a superhero? Something like that. What do you think of my costume? It's really cool. Thanks. <laughs> okay. So. My. Okay, let's. That's one disturbed wardrobe. Yeah. I'm glad this is not my dream. I'd be absolutely terrified. Oh, I still haven't really. Uh, oh. Right. Why bother with lampshades when a creepy bear bulb can suffice? I don't really know what to do. <laughs> I'm still not. I don't, I'm not really used to the way base works yet. What? She. She had a light. Oh, she mm. dropped it. So is that it thing? Rolled away. She doesn't know where it is. I just want to see if her. She won't removing. go looking for the light herself. She's afraid of the slithering things in the dark. Hey, who can blame her? Mm. No. Okay, so. Oh, that light's too weak to have an effect on Mr. Great Old One. This bedroom was designed to be as creepy as possible. Spooky by Ikea. <laughs> Light could work, but I don't think there's anything to draw on there. That thing is darkness hmm. through and through. It would need to come from somewhere else. 
Okay, well... Nope. 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 <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> nope. No way. No, I'm leaving. Uh, you just have to do this on your own. Okay, fine. Uh, I don't... I don't know. <laughs> There's the light. This is the only thing. Pain. Anger. Sadness. No, of course not. Don't be silly. It's just a light bulb. Yeah, but... But I mean... This bedroom... This bedroom was designed to be as creepy as possible. Spooky. Oh, that light's too weak to have an effect on Mr. Great Old One. Mm. This bedroom was designed to be as creepy as possible. Huh. Spooky by Ikea. Jeez. There's... Can I get like a hint or something? Because I'm obviously too dumb to do this. Hmm. Not peeking inside that thing's head. I've made that mistake in the past. Never again. <laughs> oh, maybe? I don't know. Ah, uh, hurry. Oh, that light's too weak to have an effect on Mr. Great Old One. Uh, that light's too weak. Where can I find a diff another light? I need her light, obviously. Do I just need to talk to her again? No? I can't talk to her again. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh, it's too dark. Can't see anything under there. Now I could. Oh, that light's too weak to have an effect on Mr. Great Old One. Oh. Bingo. What is it? What is it? What is it? Light, yeah, good idea, but not from that. I don't understand. Oh, that light's too weak to have an effect on Mr. Great Old what One. What do you mean, bingo? Oh. Bringer of light. Emissary of electricity. The mighty torch. Yeah. <laughs> Use on wardrobe. No? I'm just gonna give it to her then. I guess that makes more sense. Since she needs to do this on her own. Okay, that's not working. Wait, I need to... Tab. Give it to her. I can't. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. Not peeking inside that thing's head. Light could work, but I don't think there's anything to draw on there. That thing is... It had to be tentacles. It couldn't be, I don't know, a dream about a wardrobe filled with bananas. Um... Oh, she must be terrified. Poor girl. Oh, I take it back. Totally uncool. It's hiding. Stupid, smart, tentacle thingy. It's too quick for me. Hmm. Let's do this. Oh yeah. Hey, yeah. It's working. Cool. I'm finally getting used to all the mechanics. Locked. And oh. locked dream wardrobes don't open without dream keys. There's a logic to it. Okay, so where is the key? In this thingy? I don't know. Let's talk to Whoever her. without me, she'll be trapped here. She needs my help. Oh my gosh. How do I find a key? There's barely anything to look at. This bedroom was designed to be as this bedroom was designed to be as creepy as possible. Oh, spooky. But I've got something. A key. Yeah. Awesome. This took quite a while. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh jeez. No, don't get too close. It will take you. See, it's gone. You're safe now. Thank you. But I don't know how to get back home. I don't know where my mummy is. She's on the other side of the wardrobe waiting for you. Go! It's... It's scary. Whatever was in there, it's gone now. I promise. Come on. 
You can trust me. Do you use a dream machine? Mum makes me. What? She says it keeps me occupied. Then she has time to play with hers. What the fuck? The next time she does that, you need to say no. She won't like that. Maybe not, but you tell her it's dangerous, that it gives you nightmares. And if she refuses to listen, tell someone else. Or scream, fight back, run away, just... Never ever use a dream machine. Or you'll end up like Daddy. me. He doesn't live with us, but I talk to him all the time. You do that. Now go through and you'll wake up again. Yes. I helped someone. Thank you. Or free people. What's your name? Zoe. Zoe. And remember, no dream time. I might not be able to find you again. Farewell, little one. This has to stop. Yeah. Oh, I agree with you. So, oh. Okay. Uh, let's go then. I don't think there's anything else to look at. No. Definitely not. <laughs> the Vagabond. The Vagabond. Finally. I need to have a serious face-to-face -face with that man. Seriously, this game... It's fucking gorgeous. I just can't. What's going on out there? More and more people are getting caught in loops. I can't keep up. I thought the dream machines weren't dangerous anymore. I thought we took care of that. If not, then... Hello, Zoe. Sorry. Yeah. Hi. Look, I'm trying to help them all, and... and It's too hard. There are too many. And they're nightmares. They're getting worse. You have to go home. Uh... Home? For, for better or worse, this is my home now. This is who I am. The person I used to be is, is gone forever. Whatever's out there, it's no longer my life. All I once had is gone forever. There's no home to go back to, and, and I don't want to be the person I used to be. I have a purpose here. I can make a difference. If I do wake up, I'll be lost. Oh, it's kind of difficult. For, for better or it's worse, no this is my home now. This I'm all I once had this. is gone forever. What's there to go back to? Whatever awaits you on the other side is for you alone to discover. Your single thread runs through the fabric of the universe, weaving events together. But where it ends, I do not know. I'm a thread without a spool. Oh, for God's sake, I'm starting to talk like you. <laughs> what I mean is, I don't have a home. I have nothing out there and no one. I have no one. Not even your father? Besides, I'm needed here. What will happen if I just abandon them? Their night terrors are symptoms of a larger disease. As long as the disease itself is alive and spreading, exactly. those people will keep coming back. But I'm... I'm not ready to wake up face myself again. Yes, you are. I'm scared of losing what little I have left. If, if there's a choice, I, I choose to stay. I'm in control here. I don't have to fear anything or anyone. What's the point? There are no second chances. Every choice leads to the same outcome and my actions have no real consequences, so why bother? Huh. <sighs> I don't want to choose any of these, but I feel like this I'm is not ready to wake the up. best to choose. face myself again. I'm scared of losing what little I have she's... left. Okay. If, if there's a choice, I, I choose to stay. Mm. I'm in control here. I don't have to fear anything or anyone. I feel like she is more truthful to herself. Is she like admits that she's afraid? That's why I'm choosing this. I'm afraid. Uh. I can't do it. The dream is being tainted. The world is getting sicker. They all need you. This is where I belong. I'm in control here. Out there, I have no power. I failed once already. I made a huge mess of things. What can I possibly do to change things now? Isn't it enough that I'm making a difference here in story time? I'm helping those who are lost and trapped. Who else could possibly need my help? He's asking me to help, but... I don't even know what's happening out there. 
I don't understand why I'm needed. I did everything I could already. I just want to be left alone. Hmm. I've done my share. You've been here for a long time, Zoe. The dreaming disease has not abated. It has become worse. I thought we took care of that. When you laid your sister to rest, order was restored to the story time. Faith's presence, feeding on the dreams of millions, was wearing down the walls of reality. Without you, the world would be in chaos. Nothing lost was in vain. Nothing sacrificed was without meaning. You were brought here at the end because you are the dreamer and you belong to this place. But your world is caught up in a dream that never ends. I didn't see this coming. It's an aberration. You saved your reality once, Zoe. This time, all the worlds, all of story time, all of time is at stake. When you wake up, this will all be a dream. And that dream will quickly fade. Soon, it will be forgotten entirely. Unless you fight to remember it. What do I need to remember? You must open your heart and mind to messages from those who know what to do. You don't know? I'm not omniscient, Zoe. Much is hidden from me. I can see all the threads as they are woven, but the greater weave itself is too large for me to see. I'm too close. And even here, some of the past is obscured. This bothers me. I believe someone may have clouded my memory by design. An enemy, a shadow with tendrils into story time and elsewhere. All the more important then for you to remember. Okay. This is my choice to make, even if I don't know the consequences. I guess you never do. You just do what you feel is right. If there's even a tiny chance that my choice will matter, I can't say no. He's asking me to make a choice, but it doesn't feel like that choice matters. At the end of the day, I'm just playing by someone else's rules. No matter what I say, the outcome is the same. This is my... Will it even uh, matter? If you stay here much longer, you may never be able to leave. And then everyone's story ends. All the people who love you, all the people you love, and everyone else, past, present, and future, torn out of the story like pages from a book. Hmm. Why does it have to be me? It feels really unfair after all I went through the last time around. I don't know if I have a choice. I just wish the choice was left to someone else. Someone stronger and better. Someone with faith in themselves. Okay, so I go back. Face the world. Face myself. I have to believe it's worth the battle. I'm comfortable here because I don't have to make any choices. I just react. Touch people's lives without fear of consequence. So, what do you need me to do? I want you to wake up and remember. And then, I want you to save- Save the world. <laughs> I did such a bang up job with that the last time around. You changed everything. That story had a beginning and an end. But it was also only the first half of your story. Ooh. How do I wake up? There is a door. Find the door and unlock it, and you will wake up. If it's locked, where's the key? You will know. I'm not trying to be cryptic, but I don't have the key. You do. Within you. Okay. I'll just have to trust you on that. Will I see you again? If all goes well, at the end of your journey, when your story is complete, you will see me again. One last time. Okay. That sounds final. <laughs> but yeah, okay. I'll um go. Find the key. Unlock the door. Remember everything. Save the world. Write my story. Return for epilogue. Very hero's journey. Right. You will do fine, Zoe Castillo. I have faith in you. 
Awesome. Maybe bigger, bolder words are in order, but they would amount to the same. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. I really needed that. 